New Jersey declares state of emergency as heavy rain and flood risks loom. New Jersey is bracing itself for a state of emergency set to take effect at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, triggered by an impending storm expected to bring heavy rain and heightened flood risks. The Passaic River, still recovering from last month's flooding, is a particular concern, prompting Governor Phil Murphy to issue the emergency declaration across all 21 counties in the Garden State. Mayors of Wayne, Pompton Lakes, and Lincoln Park sought to open floodgates on the Pompton Lakes Dam as a precautionary measure, but their request was denied by the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. Governor Murphy supported the decision, emphasizing the scientific basis behind it. In Patterson, where residents are still reeling from recent flooding, Mayor Troy Ayers declared a citywide emergency. The community is actively preparing for potential dangers, with flash flood warnings set to be issued and certain streets closed. A Red Cross run shelter will be available at 60 Temple Street for the next five days, providing assistance around the clock. Little Falls, which recently dealt with significant flooding in December, is also on high alert. Mayor James Damiano reported that crews had just finished cleanup efforts from the previous flood, and preparations are underway once again. Meteorologists express confidence in the forecast, citing pre-existing conditions such as swollen rivers and anticipated snowpack melting. Long Island is not exempt from the impending weather, with Suffolk County Executive Ed Romaine issuing a state of emergency. Residents are advised to exercise caution due to the expected heavy rainfall, strong wind gusts, and potential flooding. Nassau County officials are clearing drains and deploying heavy-duty pumps as part of their preparations. New York City is taking proactive measures as well. Mayor Eric Adams activated the city's flash flood emergency plan, issuing a travel advisory effective from Tuesday to Wednesday. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority MTA, is implementing restrictions on empty tractor trailers and tandem trucks at bridges and tunnels starting at 6 p.m. Tuesday. The Statue of Liberty will close early at 4 p.m. Tuesday and open later than usual on Wednesday. The storm's impact extends beyond New Jersey, with coastal flood concerns on Long Island and potential power outages due to dangerous wind gusts. The collective efforts of local authorities and emergency response teams are crucial as they navigate the challenges posed by this severe weather event. Stay tuned for updates from the First Alert Weather Team for the latest developments in tracking the storm.